Have you ever wanted to make a meat cloud? Or a yucky, fleshy thing? Or whatever the hell Tetsuo turns into at the end of Akira? Well, you're in luck, because I'm gonna show you how to make your very own My Little Flesh Cloud thing. Let's get into it. First, we find a cloud. This website has some pretty good free clouds. There's a bunch more free ones you can find online everywhere. You can also buy them in asset packs. Then, we open up Blender. So we hit Shift A, you go to Volume, Import Open VDB. This will take you to, you need to find the folder with the VDB files, and you can just pick one of these. So I have one here, this one looks good, I like it. So what you need to do is you need to hit Shift A and add a cube. So this cube will be, this geometry will morph to the cloud. And what we do is we go into the cube, go into the modifiers and select volume to mesh, there we go. And the object is the volume. Give it a second. And uh, yeah, you got yourself a big old cloud. And now this may take, you know, for my computer, I've got a 3080. So this took a second. If you have something less than that, it might take more. Really depends on the volume that it's gonna be sampling. So once you have this, you can go into the, I think, threshold. And if you lower this, it will make it more detailed. So let's try that. I think this is a kind of a big cloud, but uh, let's try it. Let's go for it. So first thing we're going to do is lower this threshold. Uh huh. And see now it's starting to fill out a lot of that negative space. Oh boy! Now we're getting somewhere. This is looking real yucky. Mm hmm. Just a pile of yuck. A hot, hot, steaming pile of yuck. It's interesting how the auto smooth is not working. It's not taking it. Interesting. Oh, smooth shading. Got to click it here. We learn something together sometimes. I don't know everything. I think we're good here. Let's keep this. We'll apply it. It's going to be a lot of geometry. If we're going to edit mode, hopefully it doesn't crash. Yeah, you can see it's kind of, kind of a lot of stuff, especially at the bottom here. You don't really need all of that. So what I'm going to try to do to optimize this a little bit is I'm going to hover over this section and hit L and hopefully it'll select linked. Aha. So some of the linked is good and some of it's not. I think a lot of stuff is, yeah, just like loose. This is looking like Doctor Strange up in here. And if we do Shift I invert, let's see how it looks if we delete those vertices. Let's see, I'm curious. Is it super noticeable? Eh, not super noticeable in my opinion. But this right here, I love this part. This like clumpiness. It really just looks like a pile of actual literal Shit, like a porta potty monster, or like the Rat King from Last of Us 2, if you guys played that game. Anyway, go into edit mode, go into the x ray view. I'm just gonna cut, like, cut this in half. Just wanna cut down the amount of geometry for the sake of the demo. Let's just kind of select some chunks. So I'll delete all that. All right, this section looks good. Now let's make a put a subdivision surface on it. I'm not ready. Oh my God. It just needs to process it, get it on there, and then we will turn it down. I may need to restart the tutorial. We survived, we came out on top. But look at how good that looks now. That looks even, ew, dude, like dripping. Yuck, oh, yuck. You talk about yuck of love art, man. But it looks so good, it looks so good. The shading tab is where we will make it look like skin. And it's really sometimes with skin, especially for this, because it's not like a real like human skin thing. It's just almost like fictional. Give it a little bit of fleshy tones. And then I like turning the roughness down to make it really like wet looking. Keep the specularity where it is. And then the subsurface, I make it like a really dark red. And when, as soon as you turn this up, it's really gonna start coming together. Looks like caramel, looks delicious. Yum, dude. It's a damn snack. I would eat that. As you bring this number up, it starts to become a little bit more. Just, ugh, look, look at that. Oh no, what is this? Let me change this a little bit to like a yucky. Ew, dude, come on now, right? That's nasty as shit. That's a nasty flesh cloud. 
But if you put it like a, if you were to put a rock texture on this, this would be a, a a cave. One of the things I did was I'd make noise, get a noise texture in here, and plug the factor into no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, into this subsurface here. And so what that does is that it's some parts are black, some parts are white. So if we want to make that more clear, let's put a color ramp in here. And now we will be able to kind of bring in the dark values and bring out the highlights a little bit. So you can really start to see. So now if we plug this into the subsurface numbers, let's see kind of how that looks. Sometimes if you experiment with this, you can get a really cool balance. Like I've, got, I've gotten some really fun results with this by just messing with, with this setting. Here's one that I made for an animation. This was the setup that I had with the nodes. You can see how it looks. If you get a real good sun on that, on that thing, you can really get some really good results. Yeah, here's how that looks. And then here's kind of the node setup. I have a, the color ramp going into the base color and then I added more, to just give it more variety. The speckliness of the, the roughness and then the, the skin bumps and stuff from the bump node. What's even better about this one is that it's animated. So if I press play, you can really see it grow. You can see that it is an animated VDB. So here's a couple renders that I got from just this file and a couple of the other experiments I've done with this. Yeah, I, I can mess with this all day long. All right, well, there you have it. That's how you make a yucky flesh cloud. Leave a like if you like this video and <laughs> subscribe if you want to. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.